So guys, Jason Momoa recently teased Aquaman 3, right? He recently teased that they're going to make an Aquaman 3. However, DC have announced about a month ago that they're blowing up everything they had done prior with the DC Universe, and they're restarting. It's no longer the DCEU, it is just the DCU. James Gunn has come in, he's completely restructured everything. Zaslav has just been absolutely brutal, cutting movies, cutting actors, cutting everyone who did anything with DC up until this point. However, they have kept Jason Momoa up until now. So he has kind of teased Aquaman 3, but it was like a... It was a light-hearted tease. It wasn't really like a definite thing. And I think that's for good reason because I think James Gunn's still contemplating what he does here. I think a lot of people do like Jason Momoa, but I mean, not many people are fans of Aquaman. So I think by keeping Jason Momoa in the DC Universe, you know, it brings in a solid fan base. People will go watch the movie because they like Jason Momoa, not necessarily because they like Aquaman. So I think James Gunn's in two minds here. He's thinking, do I do what's best for the universe? Which is probably cut every single actor in it and restart. Or do I keep Jason Momoa and keep a few of these actors with big names just for the money they bring in. So I think James Gunn's in two minds here. He still hasn't made up his mind about what he wants to do with Jason Momoa. Many rumors have come out saying he's fired or they're saying that he'll actually be recast as a villain or as someone else in the DC Universe, which wouldn't be too bad. But I think everyone's a little confused here. And with him teasing Aquaman 3, maybe people are a little more confident that he's going to stay as Aquaman, but I don't think it changes my confidence level at all. I don't think DC fully know exactly what they want to do yet. They want to restructure, so they've blown it all up so they can start from scratch. So if in these brainstorming sessions, I'd imagine they're having, if when they're looking at the future of DC and what they might do, it might actually come up that they think the best option is to fire Jason Momoa. Now, what's my opinion on this? What would I do if I was in the shoes of James Gunn? Personally, I think Jason Momoa would work really well as a villain. If they were to restructure the whole thing, right? Cut Jason Momoa, cut everyone, and then recast all the characters and give it two or three years and then bring back Jason Momoa into the DC Universe, but not as Aquaman, as a villain, which was the original idea. That's what Jason Momoa thought he was auditioning for when he first got the call to be in the DC Universe. He thought he was going to play a villain. Then he got cast as Aquaman, which was a huge shock to him and everybody around him. So I think he could play a good villain in the DC Universe. That would be what I would do. I would give it two, three years, let it let people forget he was part of the DC Universe, build up the universe they want to build, and then it'll be this huge thing like what they kind of had with Superman, Henry Cavill coming back. It could be a huge thing being like, Jason Momoa's back, but he's a villain. I think that would be really cool. However, it remains to be seen exactly where they go with the DC Universe. What are your thoughts here? Do you think they should keep Jason Momoa as Aquaman? Or do you think they should get rid of him and completely start fresh, start from scratch again? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me that you guys support this channel. So thank you, and I'll see you all on my next video.